Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a, what is it, Friday, holy Toledo, a little Friday action. Certainly could be a worse days, folks. What's up, Stardust in the house? Mr. G. Noah, Lacey's come and gone. How's it going, ladies and gents? Today is a special day. You know me, I've always wanted to be a princess. So here we are. I've never, well, I was gonna say never, that's not true. I've played a lot of Princess, like, back in the day. Because I used to just enjoy the fact that she could basically jump over anything with no trouble. This, uh, very parachute-esque dress of hers apparently allows her to stay up in the air for quite some time, but she's pretty slow in lifting up, uh, the weeds and the, uh, the critters and things like that, so... There's always a trade-off, folks. So, I don't know. We have already beaten it with Toad. We've beaten it with Mario. And, well, I really thought that those were going to be the two hardest. Um, maybe I have it all wrong. Maybe the one we're saving for last, Luigi, will be the hardest. Who knows? But we're going to see what happens. And today's Princess. And maybe if it goes really well. It pretty much depends on what Criddle's up to. If she's streaming, but... Maybe I'll do Luigi the same day, who, who knows? What's up, Criddle? It's Friday after all, so I don't have to, like, go to bed early, you know what I mean? What's going on, Criddle and Mr. Weidenbach in the house? What's up, dude? Mr. G going for three in a row! Is this three... three stream days in a row, is it? I, I guess so, huh? See, she's not able to really get many weeds at all, so I might not get as many extra lives. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Weidenbach. We'll see how it goes, though. I pretty much know how to beat each level, so that might not be the tough part. Just a matter of seeing how Princess does uh, as a mechanic, as a mechanical person to play the game as, you know? So, so far so good. Level number one's kind of like an auto mode, autopilot. I'll tell you what. I've never gotten a massage from, like, a professional masseuse. I'm not sure how I even feel about doing it, like, it's kind of weird to me in a way, but even though it shouldn't be, but let me tell you, man, my neck hurts so bad right now from just living life, I could use one. I could use one. Oh, it's painful, but we're gonna make it through anyway. Stardust, are you gonna gamble 31 minutes? Keep it even at 70,000, I hope. Already doing pretty good with one extra life. Do 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 do. I think I got that the same before. Ooh, nope, Stardust has broken the mold. She's going for a thousand. Good luck to you, Stardust. I wish you the best. Stardust is a pretty pretty big bank heister. And uh, I gotta respect that. Not the best here with only one extra life, but what are you gonna do? I almost walked right off that edge. I've done that before. Dang, Weidenbach with 500 hours? It's crazy, man. I think that means you get a, you should be getting a statue. Oh no! Well now I've done it. How do I recoup? Okay, I was gonna say, how do I not uh, screw myself here? What's up, Nate? Nate Dog in the house, how you doing, man? And G Noah has a message here, uno momento. Hey, what's up, Manet? He's called me a pretty princess. What's going on, man? Hey, I saw your message about uh, pierogies, by the way, and I think you're probably right. Yeah, the American cheese was not only uh, forgettable in appearance, but also in taste. I think cheddar was probably the better cheese to mix into a potato... Uh, not a potato, the potato filling inside of a pierogi. You got your PC back. Hey, alright, no, good luck, man. Nate's doing great, I'm glad to hear it, man. Nate's always doing great. Oh, man. I'm yawning, but... I don't think I'm all that tired. I wish I had some fizzy drink to drink, but I only have water. Well, that's not true. I might have... I have, like, a tea mix or some teas. Maybe I'll go make a tea later. Get a little boost in my step. 
I wonder how that tiara stays on her head so perfectly this whole time. That's one thing I'm curious about. She must have a couple hairpins or something keeping it on. What do you think? I don't know how you would keep something like that in your head. Hey, what's up, Minecraft gal? How are you doing today? Haven't seen you in a while, I don't think. Oh, Stardust, I'm sorry. But at least you have 70,000 more where that came from. Well, 69,000 more. <laughs> sorry, Stardust. Oh, baby, can I get some action? Coin action. I'll take it. Yo, I really like that song I was playing before. Like, I just went to YouTube and I typed in Mario 2 Remix. Ow. And I found the I clicked on the first one that came up. That was a pretty good song. I'm always into, like, Nintendo game remixes for whatever reason. Alright, we're doing pretty good here. Let's see if we can get a couple extra lives. That is, like, the classic fail combo. The turn up... The turn up shy guy and whatever the last thing was, I forget. There we go. If you mash the buttons. Speaking of pierogies, in a sense, it's time to go make dinner. Alright, Manet. Enjoy whatever it is you're going to be having. I expect to see Mega Man Sunday night. We'll see, man. We'll see. I don't think I'm going anywhere for the Super Bowl. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't even really care about the Super Bowl this year. Just the teams are that are playing I'm not particularly interested in. So maybe it's possible. Alright. I had a, a cheesesteak. Half of a cheesesteak and some fries for dinner. Probably not the best dinner choice. But it's Friday after all. You have to live a little bit. I don't know, you know? See, look how much easier like all this stuff is. Like, oh, you had to jump real carefully with Toad, did you? Meanwhile, Princess just floats over top of everything. It's kind of why I did Mario and Toad first. Oh, just because I figured this will be a cakewalk in comparison, but hey, I don't want to speak too soon. There may be parts of the game that are very difficult with Princess. It just remains to be seen. And Luigi, his legs are so dangly and strange that I've already noticed a couple places where that can get you in some trouble, like level 5. I don't know if you guys remember that. Where, like, him falling off that log with his dangly feet made it strange. <laughs> we'll see. Alright. I wonder what it would be like to be one of these weird masked pharaoh type guys that are just destined slash cursed to guard a key for all eternity. Like, I wonder, are they just, like, sleeping? Or are they dead? Do they come alive when the key's taken? Or do they wake up? Are they awake and asleep all at the same time? Are they demigods? It's always possible. Oh! Let's pretend that didn't happen. I got cocky with my my parachute jump. Did you see that? Might be one of those things where you shoot yourself in the foot thanks to Princess's jumping ability more than she actually gets you into trouble. Like, you might just be too confident. So, we'll see. Alright, so how many lives do I have? I have eight lives. I've already wasted one being foolhardy, so we'll try to cut down on that. But we'll see. Perfect. Alright, let's see how this goes. Not too bad. Guess I better get out of the way of that one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think, uh... Toad had it the worst for sure with the throwing of bombs, no doubt. Alright. Oh, baby. There, we got our, our wasted life back. Not too shabby. Wouldn't mind a little bit more, though. When I beat it with Toad, I had, like, almost 20 lives. Talk about easy stuff. Alright. On to World 2. It's one I'm very always happy to just basically... Oh. She doesn't jump as high as uh, Mario, it seems. But just can stay in the air longer, obviously. So, alright, maybe we're learning a little bit here. Lucky for me, there should be a mushroom right here. Hey, what's up? Jewel's in the house. What's going on, man? Sava. Stardust says, I want to see some old school Doom. Well, I could probably make that happen. I think I. Whoa. I think I bought. What did I buy? Some old Quake games or old Doom games? 
I bought something just recently. And I even bought, like, Doom 2, like, all those, like, weird expansions. So it might be something, something coming up your way, Stardust, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna stream what I feel like streaming, basically. And I do like Doom, don't get me wrong. Let's see here. I'm also kind of in the mood for some games that have, like, an end. Like, Minecraft, there's just no end. The end is your own imagination, which is certainly worth... Oh, man. It's certainly worth something to have things be a product of your own imagination. But it's nice to have a clear-cut goal as well. Whoa, look at that. Ça va bien et toi? And me? I'm doing pretty good, man. I got out of work 20 minutes early today. Um, which doesn't sound like much, but it's... <laughs> It's kind of nice, I guess. I got home when it was still light out, which uh, every day that's getting a little bit better since the winter's, the winter's almost, uh, you know, over. How's my Mario run? So far, so good, man. Trying out Princess, as you can clearly see. Um, I died once already, just trying to jump too far, but. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm yawning. I think I might have to take a mid mid game break at some point, get something to drink. I have this like tea mix that I've been meaning to use up. Maybe I'll use a little bit of that. I don't know though. I should start filtering some water. Alright, may as well get the mushroom. What's going on with you today, Jules? And have you played a lot of Doom back in the day, Stardust? Have you played the... Oh, the original... Oh, man. The original Doom? I'm guessing. I used to really... You know what else I wouldn't mind playing sometime? The, uh... Quake 2. I used to play a lot of Quake 2 single player. Whoa, back in the day. That's awesome. The more minutes you can bank towards the weekend is awesome. Absolutely, man. What about you, Jules? Hopefully you're, st you're not at work anymore. Oh, jeez louise. Well, lucky for me, there should be a lovely little mushroom here. You doing good, man? Glad to hear it. I appreciate you coming by all these Mario streams. Yesterday we did Mario. I don't know if you were aware, I didn't see you yesterday. Not that I expect people to be on the stream all the time or anything, but just letting you know in case you were looking forward to it or something, you know. Just letting you know what's going on lately. Oh, baby. Those fire plants, like, they're pretty easy. I don't know whoever... <laughs> I don't know whoever had a tough time with them. Meanwhile, I'm getting wrecked by the shy guys. Can I get this? Oh, baby. Can I get a heart? That'd be alright. Carnage. Nothing to apologize for, Jules. Nothing to apologize for. I'm off for the weekend. Nice, dude. I have, I think, all of them. Same with Tomb Raider. Hey, I bought all the Tomb Raiders once on, um... Like a Steam sale or something, you know? A few people will know that I started to play the, uh... I got to level 10 in the first one on YouTube. <laughs> then I stopped doing it for some reason. How did that go for you? Excuse me. Go for me? The, um... The Mario run was pretty easy, I'd say. It only took one try. I died in a couple different places compared to Toad, but overall it wasn't bad at all. And hopefully Princess will be the same here. I definitely know how to beat the game now and beat all the levels, so... Flyers fan, what's up dude? Welcome back. And Atlanta is in the house. What's up, a a a a a Atlanta? Are you going uh, to cheer for the Atlanta Falcons? This Sunday, Atlanta? <laughs> like you haven't heard that before, right? What's going on, guys? Thanks for stopping in. Man, my neck hurts so much. Oh, it's terrible. Ow! Alright, here we go. Yo, uh, speaking of Flyers fan, I think, wasn't... Or is this maybe Pittsburgh? Maybe I have this backwards. Who was Lin Eric Lindros on? Was that the Flyers? I saw some guy with a Lindros jersey today, and I was like, holy cow. Didn't that guy stop playing, like, a long time ago? Let's see here. Oh, sugar. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. I kinda wanna get that mushroom. Or the extra...
extra life chances at least. Oh, that would have been perfect, but... Oh, man. Oh, that would have done it! Alright, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Gotta get the timing down for one of these guys to help me out. Help me out! No! Well, the reason I'm doing this is because... There is a mushroom, and some extra life chances. Is there an easier way to get up here? What the heck's going on? Why is this so hard? Oh, of course. I feel like I have to be in the middle more, like somehow that's gonna get a B to be in the middle. Bumble my B. I might have to just forget it. Princess, I'm kind of finding, like, just doesn't have much jump to her, I don't think. Yeah, like, she just doesn't jump very high. Alright, I guess I'm gonna forget it. It's, like, too tough. I'm just gonna hope not to die the rest of the level here. I can float over the quicksand, at least. Let's see. I'm gonna try not to... not to get killed here. I wouldn't mind a heart. No heart? What a ripoff. What did the Bobby do to his neck? Ah, uh, nothing really. What's what Mario's special perk? His special perk, I don't know if he has a special perk really. He's just he can jump higher than Toad, and he might be a little faster than Toad, but he picks up items a little slower. He's pretty well rounded, honestly. He's not a bad pick. Not a bad pick at all. Let's see if I can get a heart here. Man, stingy. What did Bobby do to his neck? Just living life, Curdle. Sitting in a stupid computer chair too much. Turning my neck to look at screens. The Rangers, then Dallas Stars. Wait, what? I sure am. I don't even really watch football, but a roof for the Falcons. There you go. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to not get killed, but we'll see. Well-rounded. Yo, what's up, J15? How you doing, man? J15 in the house. Been a long time, buddy. He was on the Rangers, then Dallas. Hold on a second. Get away from me. <laughs> no! Oh, God, what a stupid mistake. <laughs> well-rounded Mario on shrooms. That's right, man. Very well-rounded. What's up, Austin Bowen? How you doing, man? The one thing I will note is that it's interesting that... Um, when I switch characters, I end up dying at spots where I normally wouldn't die. And that happened with Mario. And I would say that that happened with Princess so far, too. It kind of... Each each character gives you, like, a sense of... Like, you know what you're doing, even though you don't. It's kind of weird. Ate lunch, so I have some strength to chat. Alright, man. What'd you have for lunch? Anything good? How's the bowling going? Those were great sound effects? What sound effects? I don't even remember making sound effects. Did I make sound effects? Do pretty good, awesome one. Thanks for asking, man. Thanks for coming in. Just in time for a little princess action. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can get out of dodge here. Prince my cess. Cess my pool. Get in there. Alright. What's in store for us now? Actually, you know what? I don't want to take one of these shy guys for the ride. If there's... I should know this by now, but if there's a Birdo on the other end of this, I wouldn't mind utilizing this shy guy to kill him, but nah, there's not. I think there's a Mouse, or... No, it's a Hydra, that's it. Oh! Oh, a heart that I don't need. Perfect. Run! If Hot Pocket and KFC mashed potatoes and gravy count as lunch, I, I would say that counts as lunch, man. I really like Hot Pockets, especially with um, hot sauce. You know what the pro move is? You uh, get a Hot Pocket, right? Or a Lean Pocket. Even a Lean Pocket's just as good. Probably better for you, I guess. Probably like less meat. But, um, so you heat it up and everything, and then like you rip the top off, and then you just dump hot sauce down inside of it. Mwah. Perfecto. Bowling's been going well? Nice, man. Hey, have you ever heard of a guy by the name of Parker Bone the Third? He's my favorite bowler, and I'm not even joking. The 
guy's like pro. Used to see him on ESPN back in the day doing like the trick shot bowling. And I guess he was like, a, you have to be pretty, like a good bowler to be good at that too. So I guess he bowled normally. Parker Bone the third. I don't know if there's trading cards of bowling players or bowlers. Bowling players, listen to me. But if there was, I would like a signed, autographed copy of Parker Bone the third. He's a killer mustache too. PB3, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. I can't, I can't handle that you call them PB3. I love it. Dude, one of the best, this best lefties ever. Really, I kind of forgot that he was left-handed. Yeah, Parker Bone the third is awesome, dude. He's like the only bowler I ever cared about. Although Chris Barnes rings a bell. Does Chris Barnes still bowl? He was always the guy that was like playing for real. And like Parker Bone the third, I always used to see like, oh, I'm now I'm gonna get a strike through two chairs. He's always doing weird stuff. What kind of hot sauce? Ah, uh, well, I guess you know whatever your fancy is at the time, Criddle. I'm the kind of guy though that usually just like gets some random hot sauces and whatever it is it is. I don't have a favorite, although I. Ow! Come on now! Oh, come on! Oh no! Leave me alone! Uh, what was I gonna say now about hot sauce? Oh, I like um. Dang, that's close. I like ch uh, what is not not chipotle. Uh, sriracha hot sauce is pretty good, although that's like something that's kind of newer in my opinion. What happened to the fire flower? Right now, I have uh, a tech bottle of Texas Pete on my desk, hot sauce, but I lost the cap to it, and I think it's been slowly evaporating because it's it's. Oh man, look at that! Princess is so slow to pick that stuff up that the next one got me. I don't think Mario or Toad had that issue. He's still on tour. Ever since his back surgery, he's been down low. Who's that? Parker Bone the third. Look at that. I don't have time to pick up... I don't have barely any time to pick up... Uh... I have to plan it out to be like the last one or something. Dang, look at this. Oh, give me that heart. Thank you. Oh god. Wow, the Birdo fights are tougher. Oh, Chris Barnes, okay. Slowly evap- I think it has been evaporating, because I don't feel like I've used that much hot sauce, but it's pretty much empty. Bobby, are you drinking your hot sauce? Sometimes I would do that. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I, like, would- It's kinda <laughs> like I'm doing a drug or something. I kinda, like, pour out a little bit onto the back of my hand, and then just lick it. It's pretty good. It's not bad at, like, reducing your hunger, too, because hot sauce kind of does that, so if you just have a little couple couple hits of hot sauce, you're pretty good to go. Oh, God, why? Alright, now I have to make it to the end of the level. Because there's a mushroom at the end. Protect me, bramble bees. Unbelievable! Ow! Man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this game here. Princess is tough. Her gliding ability gives you a sense of security. A false sense of security. Or maybe a shot. A shot of hot sauce? I've... Oh, come on. That was just stupid, Bobby. I've never done a shot of hot sauce. Get, get away from me. I've never done a shot of hot sauce. I don't think, anyway. Oh my god! Look at this! Couple hits of hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, right? Yo, so with Mario and Toad, I've certainly never died three times on this stretch. So, every run... Every, every character is different. Every character is different. Get away from me. It's all because of jerks like this. Look at this jerk. Why you get out of my life? Okay. I don't care for you either. I'm just gonna get my mushroom. Stardust says Princess is the hardest. You think so? Well, so far I might have to agree with you. I mean... I probably shouldn't be doing this bad. I mean, I'm not doing bad, but I, I've died a couple times where I probably shouldn't have. Look at that. 
I was looking at the chat, and that guy kind of tries to get me. There's always a first for everything? That's true. I don't know if I'll be doing a shot of hot sauce anytime soon, though. Bobby's next stream is going to be him chucking a bottle of hot sauce. Well, never say never, man. Never say never. <laughs> you like the get out of my life? They've been messing with my life, those guys. They they're the ones that killed me, those pea shooters. I don't even know what they're spitting out. Cherry pits or olive pits. Who knows? If you do let me know how it goes, it, w it would probably go bad. I mean, a shot of hot sauce isn't that bad of a, a thing, but I'm not gonna do it. You'd watch that? What? Me drinking hot sauce? Pretty sure a lot of people would watch me do that. Ow! I'm in pain. I'm an old man. Alright, let's see here. Even though I died twice earlier, I think this is my favorite level. Uh, maybe not my absolute favorite, but it's up there. There we go. I like when the bomb gets three blocks of stone. Imagine drinking a shot of ghost chili extract. No, that, that'd that probably kill you, I guess. I don't know. I've never... I'm not a fan of hot things that are just too hot. Like, I like hot sauce. I like um, sp some spice to some foods and stuff like that. And I'm certainly not afraid of it like some people can be. Um, but I'm not into just hurting myself for no reason. It's never too... It's never too... It's never too bad now. It's l the worst later. I think I, I think I know what you're getting at, Jules. I think I know what you're getting at. And I would agree. Hot in, hot out, right? Okay, let's see here. Ah. Uh -huh. See, I was just, like, the one thing I was starting to notice last night with Mario is that I almost had time to... to pick up an egg, throw it, and then pick up the very next egg that was shot. Like, that's how quickly... That's how quickly uh, he was able to to react, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Strategic hits. I'm out. Let me in, Hawkman. I need some couple extra lives, though. I'll tell you, I tell you what. All right, fine, princess. It is. Do do wah 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 wah. wah. I have a friend to tell that I talked to someone about Parker Bone the Third. My friend will be amused at that. Alright, well now what? Ooh, that was like a massacre back there. Alright, let's see. <sighs> you know, I never got in that door there. Do you think I should go in that door this time, maybe? Why don't we try it? I think, uh... Pick this up here. Uh, just float over this there. Whoa. Let's see what's in here. You ever hear about the Wing Bowl in Philly? Yes, I have, actually. Um, the Howard Stern Show always talks about it because uh, it has the reputation of being disgusting in more than one way. If that makes any sense. I've never been to any Wing Bowl, though. I like wings, but... I don't know if you guys remember, like, last summer, oh man, I bit a fork last summer like an idiot, and I chipped the front of my tooth. It got fixed, but, like, I'm afraid to eat wings now because there's, like, a little piece of, uh, what is it, like, bonding or something on my front tooth that I'm always afraid I'll knock loose. So, I kind of ruined wings for myself. What am I supposed to do with this? 400 wings was the winner? Oh my goodness. How could you eat that many wings? What the heck? I guess I have to go down? I mean, this is... kind of a strange situation. At least I can... theoretically just keep going to the left, right? Going to the left, right? <laughs> Alright, what about you, Flyers fan? Well, the Flyers are... from Philly, right? So maybe you're from that area? I don't really like this. This is like a, a lot of backtracking. What the heck's going on here? Almost got killed. I would be so upset if I had to do that again. 
Oh my god. I don't like that way at all. And I died anyways. I'm very upset. What's up, more pew? While Mario's going on, it's neither, I believe. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, let's see here. Uh, jump. No! That was close. Oh. Oh. Been to it a couple times. After parties are better. <laughs> I would imagine so. I would imagine so. Alright, let's get up here. So this is a much more satisfying way to go. Minus that bird that always kills me. Alright. Let's see if we can get past this here. Up we go, up we go. I don't know if this is longer or shorter of a way. You have a very special song. God! Is it a Mario song? Let's see here. Uh, see, the thing about this is that with Princess, I probably won't die here because you have all the time in the world to think about your next move while you're floating in the air. Ah, why? Life is too hard. You better not be driving right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who knows? Man, this is tough too. Look at this. He's driving on YouTube. Okay, well, we made it this far, but... I really wouldn't mind a heart that I don't think we're gonna get. Oh, baby, I lied. I'll take it. What's next? I think another bomb? What is this, level 3? Another mouse man, I think. Yeah, this one's pretty easy, I think. Oh god, I take it back. This is terrible. Oh! Oh, look how easy it is to put the bomb up there. They're like, oh, what's up? I'm just gonna casually place it right where you're gonna stand in a minute. That certainly makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? Well, there we go. I'm gonna just put the bomb there. What's up, Tiki? You like that little princess action? Princess Bobby. I always wanted to be a princess. Although not, not really, I guess. Stoplights? Yeah, that's me, man. Driving home from work. Browsing Reddit at the stoplights. It's like the only thing that makes... It tolerable. Alright, well, here we go. Level 4. How long did it take me to get here? Half hour? Not bad. Whoa. Not the worst. Could be worse. Alright. Let's see here. I think, uh... I think I might be able to get the mushroom here. Oh, I jinxed myself. A couple extra coins, I guess, is better than nothing. Ah! Good luck in the bank heist, ladies and gents. You still playing a lot of WoW, Pew? I think, uh... I think I saw a picture of, of your... Uh, offspring holding a toad. And you were in the background playing, uh, WoW, I think. Four one is pretty easy. It's four two is where it gets interesting. Almost a year ago, man. That's awesome. Appreciate you still being here a year later. Sometimes I wonder if I should have got in the WoW, but I don't really need more reasons to spend too much time playing games. But I'll just probably spend that time playing different games instead, so it all kind of works out. How are you doing, by the way, Tiki? And it's Miss Esri. Good morning, Miss Esri. I hope that you are snuggling with a kitten at the moment. 
That's the best way to spend a Saturday morning. I'm gonna need some water here soon. Or something. Ten lives. Could be worse. I wouldn't mind eleven, though. Rip. Jinx sends her morning greetings as well. Happily curled up. Very good, Miss Ezra. I'm glad to hear that. I used to have a cat that was, like, kind of... It was kind of strange, like... It kind of wanted to lay with you, but if you petted it too much, it would probably bite you. So I guess it just was in the market for some warmth? Although it's tough to know for sure. It never wanted to be too close. Let's see here if I can dodge all the bramble bees. Easy! With Princess's parachute pants, we're in business. Alright, guess I'll try for a mushroom here. I don't know if it's gonna work out though. It's, it's tough with the floating princess. It worked out just fine. These whales are kind of weird because I always thought that these were like... They're like kind of shooting out like cherry soda or something like that. Out of their... the tops there. I've been good talking to Kyle out recently, plus it's Friday! <laughs> it's, well, you, everyone needs a little bit of a break, Tiki. I'm glad you're giving yourself one, for sure. Ah! How are things with Kyle? Is he, uh... He's not at the same school as you, is he? I don't... I guess not, right? Nate in the house! Man, see, like, levels like that. Piece of cake! Piece of cake with Princess. No joke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. I think we can get ourselves... Nope, I jinxed it. Dang. Kind of a bummer. If I would have brought that uh, potion all the way over to the, the other side, there would have been a mushroom there for me. Could just float over the echidnas. Oh, very nice, Miss Ezri. Um, I guess that would be for what? Ow. For the fall, right? So it sounds like you're well ahead of schedule for that sort of thing. Oh, jeez. I better take it easy. I didn't take it easy. Kyle worked part-time other summer. Yeah, I remember that at the amusement park, right? Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to... Man. So you never know if it's gonna be two or three. See there, I could have picked up that egg, obviously. My goodness gracious. I guess I have to wait to the third one. Oh my god. This should have been over by now. Three fireballs in a row, what are the odds? Get out of my life. Ah, oh, thanks for the heart too late! He's been teasing you a lot more. Uh-oh. Well, that's good, I guess. Pew, steak incoming in T-minus 15 minutes. What'd you do, pick up some steak, man? Ah, very good, Miss Ezri. Well, I really hope that... Do you think you'll get in, or is it like they only accept so many people, or... What do you expect? Excuse me. And what would you be going for your masters in again? What? What is this? Huh. I wonder if there's anything over there. Lacey's not here. Alright. Goes to school an hour away. Well, that's not bad. Distance becomes increasingly different as you get older, like, when you're a kid, you're like, wow, it's 20 minutes away, that's like a million years. And then you're like, oh, it's only a two-hour drive, alright, cool, that's easy. Because then you have to move away from everything you've ever known, and everything becomes difficult. Whoa! Am I sick? No. A lot of people have been saying I sound sick, though. I don't know. Who knows? A 
A master in teaching English as a second language. Ah, wasn't sure if you were going to be doing something other than what you're already doing. Yeah, it makes sense to be anxious, Ms. Ezri. Do I sound sick? Two people have said that to me this week. Alright, let's see. And what's up? Tell Martha I said hello, by the way, Lacey. Good old Martha too fresh. Martha very fresh. Let's see if we can get this mushroom here. Uh-oh. Oh, I couldn't see where I was floating. That could have been a death sentence. Yeah, fair enough, Tiki. Well, maybe he could come visit you. Especially, like, on the weekend or something. If you're gonna spend two nights somewhere or something like that, then 50 minutes is easy. You sound different, maybe not sick. Do you have allergies this time of year? Nah, but... Well, I was outside, like... I've been taking walks every day at, around lunchtime. And it's really cold out. So maybe that's it. The wind was so blowing so hard today that my eyes were watering for most of my walk. I was like, man, what the heck? It's not every day that wind is hitting you in the face that bad. Steak time! Very good, Stardust. Enjoy that steak of yours. Props to Pew for picking it up. <laughs> I wonder where, you, where do you pick up a steak from? The grocery store? Or, like, the way he made it sound, it's like it was already ready to eat. happening. Hold on. Okay. Oh, Nelly! There's a bumblebee trying to get me! Mm, this class we're probably not going to get to hang out until at least he's out of school. Well, what do you mean? You're not going to hang out for like four years? Outback Steakhouse, there you go. A restaurant. I don't know. That goes to show what I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You could probably pick up a steak like anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the whole world. Okay. Guess I'll just wait and run over this way and swing back over this way and up we go and over this way. Uh, what are you having for dinner? Prop. Aww. Oh. Probably tacos, Lacey. Or, or hamburgers. What are you having on a Friday night? Stardust is spoiled. Well, she deserves it. She's on a on a diet of sorts. Gotta, gotta live a little bit. A little steak action. Oh! Let's see if we can get a three-for-one deal. Boom. Well, you guys are only 50 minutes away if either one of you have a car. I mean, you could certainly hang out with each other almost any day. No. Nope, we had tacos last night. I'm having salad. Oh, well, what kind of salad? What's gonna... Oh, I got two up. 54th Street Outback is horrible. I don't know if I've ever been to either. Hey, uh, I think we've already had this conversation, but I was at a uh, Golden Corral couple weeks ago by now, and it was my first time I was ever at one, and I had a piece of uh, prime rib. Holy Toledo, is really good. Alright, I don't know how this is going to go, because she floats so much. That's the kind of salad you're having, the kind that, the, the kind that you eat? Thanks for clearing that up. Alright, see, it's like, I don't know, my, there's like no rhythm to it. Hey, what's up, Victoria's in the house. Oh no, I just sentenced myself to a long, watery death. Pasta with broccoli and a garlic cheese sauce. Yo, that sounds pretty good. Ah, fair enough, Tiggy. I forgot about that part. Alright, let's see here. Why did I pick up that fish? What a foolhardy endeavor. So foolhardy. Oh, what an endeavor. Ho, Nelly! Alright, let's try this again. 
See, Princess has the best, like, hang time in the game, and you think it'd be really easy. It was like, no, nope, instead. Like, what? What happened? Alright, Flyers fan. Victoria's wrecking fools. Oh my goodness, like... What? I got really confused there for a second. Bye. See you later, Tiki. Oh my god. Why is this? This shouldn't be nearly as difficult as it is. <laughs> Thank you, Tiki. I need it at this rate. Look at that. You can just jump right over. Oh! Ooh, a one-up. Is there a mushroom here? There is. Salad it up, Lacey. Green it up. You know it's a pro move? A pro move. Ah! Oh my god. Get me out of lo dodge. A pro move is using spring mix instead of lettuce. Maybe I can wreck your face in PvP? What kind of PvP are you talking about? Do, 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 do. You're gonna put your, the pictures of your salad on Instagram? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, alright. Alright. Get away from me, please. Oh, Nelly! More Pew just got a, a waitress to bring steak to the car. <laughs> right as I said, I sentenced myself to a watery death over the speakers. That's funny, man. You got me going through the speakers. She looks scared to walk up to the window. You're like, oh, what do you mean? You never fell off the waterfall in Mario 2 as princess? Come on, everyone says that when they do that. No weeds, Bobby Lettuce. No, Spring Mix. What do you mean by what kind of PvP? Are you talking about Minecraft PvP? That's funny, Pew. Bobby just sprucing up your Friday evening by making a waitress afraid of you. Criddle, you have to eat spring mix. How do you not subscribe to that? You're like the culinary master. Why? Yo, I'm really happy I have 14 lives because I'm dying in places that I wouldn't normally die. Alright, I'm gonna take it take it easy here. Almost got the triple shot. Alright, what do we got here? Not the best. But I'll take it. Alright, potion. I'm not gonna forget this time. The potion is in here. Two for one deal! Nope. No nasty weeds. Why don't you like spring mix, Criddle? I mean, it does taste a little, a little stranger. They often say the arugula can be bitter in nature. But I don't care. Give me that spring mix. Spring mix. What's more important, the mushroom or the coins? Well, why not both? Okay. Let's see. You just jump over the enemies when you're princess. Ooh, why'd I do that? That was dumb. It's bitter! I knew that's what you were gonna say. <laughs> well, I think that's the benefit of drinking instant coffee. Because instant coffee tastes so terrible. Wow, that was close. That it almost doesn't matter what else you do with your life because... Once you've had instant coffee, you can eat arugula. That's what it's called, right? Aruga my la. Look at that, easy. Alright, princess, time for you to ascend the Jack's Beanstalk here. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to do a little bit like this. Yep, that hoop star was just waiting for me, I knew it. Got a secondary hoop star just waiting for me. Got a ter tertiary hoop star just waiting for me. Alright, there we go. Get me out. Get me out of here. This part reminds me of Miss Esri. I say it every time now. I have to say it. Ooh, look at that. That normally doesn't happen. I think we're okay, though, as long as I can make it over to this way. Excellent. I'll drink straight espresso. That's bitter. Is it? I don't 
don't know how much I've ever had an espresso. Oh gosh, I almost tried to pick up that fireball. Let's see here. You know, I, I kind of have a little bit of an issue with Starbucks. First of all, why are they called baristas? Like, why can't they just be called the people that pour me coffee? And when I want to go and get a large black coffee, why can't I order it like a man and say, Hello, yes, I'll take a large black coffee. Instead, I have to be like, Ah, yeah, let me take the, uh... The... Is venti your large? Okay, let me take the venti... Uh, pike. Or something like that. Makes you feel like less of a human. I don't like it. But, with that said, once you can get past all that, the coffee's pretty good. Last time I was at Starbucks, I was sitting there drinking it. And, uh... You know, I'm not a stranger to caffeine, but... This thing started to kind of kick my butt. Like, I kind of got a caffeine buzz just sitting there. Look at all the bombs on the screen. I'm trying to find the potion. I knew that was going to happen. I'm out, yo. Forget it. Let's just see if I can not die. Slightly more bitter than earwax. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I might be in some trouble here. Not a fan of this part here. Alright, we can probably do the shimmy. Easy. Venti is Italian. I, I don't know. I guess. I mean, isn't Starbucks from Washington? Well, what do they care about it? Italy. Oh, that's close. But that's a very ignorant thing for me to say because I just have no idea. So, you know. Like a true American, I'll speak my thoughts on something even if I'm uneducated. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Man, Star... Princess is, uh, much slower to pick things up. No joke. No joke at all. T to the degree of, like, I don't know how I'm going to... Oh! I'm so upset right now. Don't believe I've ever died here before. But now it's a matter of principle. I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even want to talk about that. Jinx says it's time to get out of bed. Oh my god. Do I listen? Probably not. I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset. Venti means 20 in Italian as in 20 ounces. Oh. Well, I don't like it. Let's see here. Mm. Princess is hard. <sighs> Guess I have to get a turnip. Dodge these bombs. Thank you. This part used to feel really difficult, but I think I kind of got the hang of it, especially if you can plug up the holes. Uh, of course. I am a salty beast. Alright, that made it easy. Can I get a heart? That would be ideal. Nope. Alright, well, let's see. I don't know, there's going to be some bombs coming here. Perfect. Why is Toad the only one to be able to actually fit into that hole? Very strange. But alright, I think we're slowly doing it here. I'm still kind of salty about those deaths from before. Princess is just very slow to pick things up. No joke. Oh, that's just great. Oh! Somehow we don't get a repeat Fire Flower, though. So that's good. Hey, welcome back, Flyers fan. Mm -mm. Okay. Are we done? No, nope, probably one more. No? Alright, well, I'm not going to give you the chance to spawn. Alright, let's see what we got here. This is not the easiest. 
can just get up here and just get on out of dodge before that guy hits me with a pea shooter. Just fly away. This reminds me of Aladdin. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm not really sure that's what I needed, but I guess I'll take it. Really wouldn't mind a heart. I don't want a bumblebee. I want a heart. See, I'm definitely going to die, but if I can get past this birdo, I'll at least be in alright shape, because I think, what is it, the... Is it the, the crab after this? I think so. It's either that or the Hydra Part 2, but instead I just died. Man, Princess is tough. I'm not out of the woods yet here. I'm really not. I have ten lives left, and if I'm not careful... If I'm not careful, this might not uh, be a once-and-done deal for myself. I'm gonna have to try to play it... I'm gonna have to try to play it safe, I think. Goodbye. Alright. This part ain't all that easy, either. Especially, uh, I thought I was gonna hit that one on the top there, but I didn't when I jumped. Okay. Alright. Or at least I'm doing a little better than last time. Bloop. 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 Well, I take that back. Come on, I need an egg for number three. Not a f fireball! Give me a heart. No heart? So Bobby Har movies, I saw they're doing the ring over. What's up with that? I don't know, it sounds like a terrible idea. Oh god. You know, I feel like the ring was good fifteen years ago. But it's probably not all that good now. I don't know, maybe they'll redo it and it'll be good. Probably not. Don't let me rain on your parade. To be honest, I wasn't too sure why people were so afraid of the ring to begin with. It wasn't that scary. But uh, the 2014 Evil Dead remake, I was actually quite pleased about. I thought they did a fresh... I mean, they... Oh, they didn't do a fresh take on some things, but the things that they did do a fresh take on, I enjoyed. So it's possible that it won't be bad. But, you never know. I like movies when there's some director trying to, like, have an artistic expression uh, through his movie. That's what I like. Um, you don't get that nearly as often as you just get someone trying to recoup their investments from some investment group that put money into the movie, you know. Which is usually what remakes are all about. Crab man. Although, if people want to get together in an investment group and remake Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, I wouldn't be too upset about that. So, I guess I'm a hypocrite. I saw a commercial for one horror movie that was rated PG 13. You know, I used to be pretty upset about horror movies that were PG 13, but in my later years, I don't mind it as much, because sometimes the story is still good. Sometimes, I guess. There's still a million horror movies that I want to see, man, that's for sure. And, uh, what am I supposed to do here? I can't even jump that. I, I was going to say, what the heck? Give me a heart. No? I'm not sure if I'm going to beat this game with Princess. Oh, that sand's really quick, quick sand. Get me out of here. No! Don't spit things at me. Heart! Remember Captain Planet? When the one guy's like, I am the one with heart. Would always 
feel kind of bad for that guy, because no one wanted to be that guy. Ooh, a heart. Miss Esri got out of bed. I'm surprised that Jinx wanted to get out of bed. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Just kidding? Just kidding. Probably would have been a mushroom there. What's with my name from green to red and type different? I don't know, it's the same, it's all like an orange color on my screen, Jules. It doesn't look different to me. Ooh, that was close. The Shining is lit? Yeah, Shining's really good. What happened to the real stuff, like the original Halloween? Well, I don't know, I think the original Halloween was kind of a fluke. I mean, it was good, but... That genre is just so outdone these days that I don't think there'd ever be another one that could be as good. I really like the film work in that movie, too, as weird as that sounds. And Shining's, like, on a whole nother level. Halloween is good, but Shining is just... next level good. Alright. Uh, and, of course, Jack Nicholson pretty much makes it. Although, Jamie Lee Curtis kind of makes the other one, too. Wouldn't it be so cool to, like, do something with your life where, like, 50 years later, people are still talking about how great of a job you did? Chances are that'll never happen to, to guys like me and you. Alright, let's see. It was a fire-breathing dragon. The Jinx was hungry and needed her food dish filled. What is the Jinx like? Does she eat a lot of uh, wet cat food? Like chicken or fish, maybe? I might take a break. Dude, I need to get something to drink. Alright, well, I need to get on the right bird, too. This should probably do the trick. Never say never. That's true, Criddle. Never say never. Did you see Inferno? No. What's that? You're not talking about Dante's Inferno, are you? Was Pierce Brosnan in that movie? She likes dry kibble! Really? Such a princess such as Jinx, I think, would only have, like, fancy feast, where they have it out of that, like, real dainty glass dish. <gasps> oh my god. can't believe that all just happened. Holy cow. Get me out of here. You made me yawn? Sorry, man. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I wasn't as tired as I am. I was yawning at 2 o'clock today, though. I'm gonna yawn again. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I had, like, over 7 hours of sleep, though. Or maybe about seven. Didn't think I'd be this tired. But it's been a long week! <laughs> there we go. We did it. It's actually really difficult for her to eat wet food. Why? Take a break, the Bobby, you deserve it. Thank you, Criddle. Brand new, it's based on a Dan Brown novel. I'm uh, not really up on books. Which is funny, because I should be. It's probably good to, to read books. As dumb as that sounds to say out loud. But I, uh, I don't. Maybe one day. <laughs> More yawning. Oh, shoot, I wasted this potion. There's a mushroom in that quicksand. I threw it too late. Alright, well, into this weird cave, I guess. This is the biggest opening of all the the weird th places you go in this game. She doesn't like wet food. I had to try five dozen cats before she, she found one she would eat. Really? My one friend's cat sometimes likes wet food too much that she eats it too quick and then th throws up. So obviously that's no good. Alright. I'm gonna try to take this potion. Volunteering at a race? What kind of race are you volunteering at? What happened? Oh, man. Alright, I need to do just one more. Like a foot race? Back in my day, I could run a 5k in pretty, pretty okay time. 
under a half hour anyway, which is not okay time, but it's, you know, not terrible. But I never did one that was like a public race. I just always ran by myself, but it's kind of like, speaking of horror movies, it's kind of like a horror movie whenever I run. I'm like spitting, like my nose is running, and I'm like wiping it on my sleeve, because I always wear like this junky sweatshirt that I don't care how messed up it gets. And, I mean, it's not a pretty sight. So maybe that, there's a reason I never did it, now that I think about it. Hopefully no one was eating, that was probably not a very nice visual I just gave everyone. A foot race, so what are you going to be doing? Volunteering-wise, like handing out numbers or something? He wrote Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code. Oh, okay, well I've certainly, I've certainly heard of those, Flyers fan. I just forgot his date was Dad Brown. Oh, man. And then you start to get a yawn count, like... Oh, every tenth yawn, you get a free gift card. That was close. Remember when everyone got so mad at the Da Vinci Code for some reason? I don't even know why. The last race I ran was to my fridge for a beer. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, I don't know what it is. There's a couple beers in my fridge right now. I really just don't really like drinking beer. I mean, I, I do it enough now and then, but I just don't care for it. Like, the idea of me having a beer right now... I'm not saying that people who do enjoy beer shouldn't. Just, I don't know what'll happen. Like, it makes you thirsty, it makes me not sleep very well. Sometimes people say that drinking makes them sleep. Like, how? I sleep for four hours, and then I wake up all thirsty, and then I can't go back to sleep. It's terrible! You're just directing the racers? Yeah, that's the other thing about those races, that's pretty early. I would always run in the evening. I don't want to get up early to run. Oh, I was gonna say, am I gonna pick that one up or not? Holy cow. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can I jump up there and get it? Where's the Bobby Diet Coke? I don't have any, but it's kind of on purpose, because I guess I shouldn't drink so much Diet Coke. It'll take the calcium out of your bones, so they say. I'm gonna set up my, my shield. Sleep like a baby after a beer. Every yawn you get a thousand minutes. <laughs> there you go. Man, once you set up this little gulp, Goal post. It's not a goal post. Whatever this is, a blockade. Easy peasy. You know what makes me sleep pretty well? Benadryl. But I guess that's what it's for. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, look at that! Twice in a row. Alright, I think I'm gonna go take a quick break and get something to drink here. I think I want level 7. Level 7. I'll be right back, folks. Thank you very much for hanging out here with me. Hopefully you're uh, getting something out of the princess run. I need to have my cat in bed to sleep. I don't blame you. I'll be right back.
I have returned. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Do -do 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 -do. Let's play level 7 1. What up, Tiki? Welcome back. Didn't you go somewhere? But you're back. Alright, well, let's see. We're on last, uh, last world, I guess you could say. Last world, seven. It's kind of funny, like, people sometimes say, like, ah, oh, Zelda 2 is nothing like all the other Zelda games. But at the time, there was only one other Zelda game, right? So, it really wasn't breaking much of a mold, it just wasn't the same as the first one. Similar to this, like, you always think of uh, Mario games having, uh, what do you call it, eight levels, right? Well, what do you think? The first one had eight levels, eight worlds, and this one had seven, but there's only one other game to go off of, so... I don't know, or maybe the Doki Doki Panic or whatever had seven worlds. What's up, 10 gigahertz in the house? What's up, dude? Welcome back. Atlanta's back. Ah, okay, Tiki. I asked Kava to watch a movie with me, and now he's not texting me back. Ah, whatever. How are you gonna watch a movie through Skype? Do do do. I'm gonna die here. Oh, jeez, Louise. The one downside is you can't really tell where you are when you're floating above the screen. Rocket ship. All right. Well, I think maybe we'll try the cherry route. You never left. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I don't want you to leave. Alright, there's four. Every fifth cherry, you get a surprise. Cherry Jubilee. Wait a minute. I thought that was five cherries. Weidenbach, you won three in a row? Dang, man, look at that. Not bad. A screen sharing site. Watch it. People tease me most of the time. Oh, okay. Gotcha. What am I supposed to do here? These guys are throwing me for a little bit of a loop here. Alright, I'm out. I think if you leave a... What? Oh. No. If you leave too many guys on screen, some of them won't appear next time. Well. That didn't work in my favor this time, though. Uh. No! Mein Lieben. Oh. Oh. This is tough with Princess for some reason. He could be looking up the movie I suggested. Maybe. What movie did you suggest? Yeah, it's tough with the Princess. She jumps too much. See that pink guy? He's not even there the first time you go by. I'm just going for it. Get out of my life. Starfish man got stuck up on that cloud, and I'm out. You know what movie I like? It's a weird uh, Chinese horror movie called Dream Home. Or something like that. I think that's what it's called. I like that movie. I kind of want to watch that movie. This one's tough. I think I usually do this one. No. Nope. How about a heart for your old pal Bobby? No. It's an anime. Oh, an anime movie. English name is Wolf Children. Hey, look at that. Princess got no jump. She got the float, but not the jump. Wolf Children. Sounds kind of interesting. Whoa. Go for it. I'm not even sure what the boss of 7-1 is. Uh, oh yeah. Just a fire-breathing dingo. Oh no. <gasps> Man. He's protecting the wooden mushroom. You gotta be kidding me. I tried to pick it up, but I couldn't. I know, Atlantis, those darn hoop stars. Get out of my life! Ah. 
Are they about children who are wolves? There's a lot of animes I'd like to watch. At this rate, I'm never gonna get to. Which is kind of a bummer. I'm terrible at doing things on my own. No extra lives, but I'm pretty sure that 11 lives is just gonna be A-OK -okay to be level 7. Oh, by the way, the drink I made is called, like, Meadow Tea or something like that? It's like mint, minty, very minty tea mix. So minty. Get out of my life. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! Look at Princess just going wild. very close. Look at how much easier this level is with Princess. Yeah, I don't even need to care about any of this. Well, I guess I should have cared about that. It's almost weird romance, but then it's not. I'm probably into weird romance. You know the whole ship thing? Remember that ship thing you tried to explain to me once or twice? I still don't quite understand what that is or is all about. Okay. There's that. Did I just put that thing on top of a cherry? That's interesting. No! That backfired quick. Victoria's enjoying a little dinner action. that. There's that. Oh, I knew it. I got hasty. Okay, that's all I needed. I could sh I ship chocolate and peanut butter. Where do you ship it to? Oh, come on. Someone or something, you want them to be in a relationship, it could be platonic or romantic, but most of the time it's romantic. Yeah, I'd say most of the time it's romantic, because, I mean, platonic is just, like, being friends. And that's not all that exciting. Okay. I like this door better. What if I made my own kind of ship cartoon, like... It's like a frog and a salamander, and I just really wanted them to have a nice life together? Let's see here. Back to Mario 2. We pretty much have this run in the bag as long as my wart uh, run doesn't go overly terrible. Although the 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 birdos on the conveyor belt are no joke. And here's probably about to be one of them, I think. Okay. Oh, is this this is actually a kind of a neat level. Or stage. I don't know what you would call this. It's kind of like a uh, three. D I don't know. What do you call this? Like a visual something. <laughs> what do you call this? A visual uh, something or other. Oh, jeez. That was kind of weird. That should be your app, a shipping app. <laughs> That's funny. Ship it. Ship it good. I wonder what the marriage politics of a reptilian society would be like. Okay, goodbye. Thanks, Atlanta. That's nice of you to say. <laughs> Good luck, Jules, in the bank heist. I wish you the best of luck. Wait, did I? I must have lost that bank heist I joined because I didn't even remember what happened. So I guess usually when that happens, it means you lost. So basically, I think all we need to do. Kill this birdo. Grab the key. Oh, come on. Run in this other door with it. <gasps> no. That's my luck. 
kill this hawk man. We're pretty set. I felt like, um... I felt like beating this with every character would be a little more of a challenge, honestly, but once I figured out how to beat the game with Toad, I mean, it's all kind of downhill from there, but not in a bad way, it's just... At this point, I know how to beat all of it, so it's not that hard. Na, 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 na. This is for women everywhere! Princess style. Oh! Check those guns! Got the bank heist in the chat going during the boss fights. I like the radishes the best, or maybe it's a tomato. They look very happy. Well, that certainly didn't work out at all, did it? I was too concentrating, too much concentration on the tomato. I thought it was a radish this whole time. Apparently not. Na -na 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 oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Why can't I pick up any vegetables? It'd be a lot cooler if I didn't die ten times during the boss. So let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to get a two-for-one deal. Not quite, though. Okay. What do we got next? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh! I thought it was a buy one, get one. Oh, the acid bubble took out my turnip. That one's too risky. Easiest boss fight in history. Right? Until I get wrecked. Oh, God, no! <laughs> no one clip that, please. Alright, come on. After this, if you time do you an MS paint stream? Maybe. You think I should? I might. Because I could either do that or switch right into Luigi, but I don't really want to commit to a Luigi run right now. So maybe I'll do MS paint. I have in mind something I'd like to do. I'm not good at it, though, I'll tell you that much, Tiki. Miss Ezri says, what? Clip it. No, don't do it! I asked for it. I'm like, oh, this is the easiest boss fight ever. And then I knew I was going to die as soon as I said that. That's just my luck. Okay. Let's see here. Alright. Give me a turnip. Oh, the low angle turnip. I jinxed myself indeed, Jules. That's the way it goes. Put my foot in my mouth since 1942. We did it. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen. Here we have it. <laughs> Miss Ezri clipped this. Let's see here. Clips are for... They're pretty good for harnessing lamentations, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I think something like this. Clip not found. Oh. I don't know why it's... A little difficult to get the clips. Na, 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 na. Oh, Miss Esri, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not sure if I have the clip here. For whatever reason. There it goes. Jeez Louise. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining me. On a princess 100% run, let us unleash the fairies. Winner, winner, that chicken dinner. TTGG, 10 gigahertz. GG, thank you, Criddle. 
And Mr. Grove, of all people, finally uh, got us the answer as to why there was 21 contributions on that one night we used Toad. It was because we used the continue, and for whatever reason, that ups your count if you use a continue. Um, so that, I guess it could be higher than 21, really, but 20 is the lowest number, I suppose, if you're only going to use one character. These are always so short. I know they are, aren't they? But I kind of like Tiki's idea. Hopefully Criddle is not going to be upset. She was going to be streaming, but I kind of do want to try MS Paint because I want to try to make some art for myself. I have a envision in my head of uh, a screen I could maybe use for when I play games like this. So I tell you what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to stop the stream, and I'm going to start it again in a few minutes, and I'm going to try MS Paint. I don't know. It's probably going to be weird, but Tiki will probably like it, and that's good enough for me. Get some song requests in there, maybe. Just kind of hang out, you know? At least for, I don't know, maybe till 9 o'clock, which is in 50 minutes, so. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a Mario 2 run, 100%, with Princess. And that leaves just Luigi to go. So I'll be right back, guys. Thank you very much for being here.